Welcome back. With many diners still nervous about eating inside restaurants, food delivery services have been doing record-breaking business. But consumer reporter John Matarese tells us why many orders are showing up late so you don't waste your money. Food delivery services have been more popular than ever during this pandemic, but with that popularity have come some problems, especially late food. Business is bouncing back here at Kung Food Chu thanks to delivery apps and a stream of takeout orders. But co-owner Hana Chu has noticed a simmering problem in recent weeks. A lot of delivery drivers weren't coming to um, pick up the food. And she's getting more and more upset calls. But some customers are saying that it's over two hours. Delivery apps Grubhub. Uber Eats and DoorDash have been lifesavers this pandemic. They, they picked up our business. Driver shortages can lead to longer wait times, but there may be another reason how much you tip. The most common excuse that I hear is no tip, no trip. Jason Barlow and Kate are two delivery drivers. We've agreed not to say which service they drive for. Both tell me if it appears an order has no tip, it may sit for 30 minutes. If I see, you know, uh, uh, an order coming through that doesn't have a tip on it, or I will, I will decline that order. It'll be offered to the next closest person, and then that person can choose to take it or decline it. Drivers tell me they're not told in advance how much tip you're going to leave, but they say if an order shows it's only going to pay three, four, or five dollars, they're going to assume you're not tipping. They may pass you by. Can you make money as a driver on three dollars? On $3, realistically, no. Delivery services show you a suggested tip on their app. Jason and Kate suggest you be generous. You're more than likely to get your food faster. I'm as frugal as anyone, but this is one case where you may want to open up that wallet a little bit more with your tips. You don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, 23 ABC.